This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at GDC 2019. To my immediate right is Tony Pierce. He is the co-founder of Reality Gaming Group. Welcome to the program, Tony. Thank you. Nice to be here. So what do you guys do? So uh, I'm the co-founder of, um, as you mentioned, Reality Gaming Group, which has developed an augmented reality combat platform and also a crypto trading platform where you can trade in-game assets. Uh, the first game to come out on it is Reality Clash, which is an augmented reality combat game. Best way to describe it is Pokemon Go meets Call of Duty. So the idea is you download it from the app stores for free, you go out into your town, you join your friends, and then you have to defend certain parts of the city. So park areas or particular places we send you to on the map, you go and defend them, you mine for resources, and then you go into battle. But by going into battle, you actually enter a VR world by walking through a portal on your phone and uh, going into a battle with avatars on the opposite team. It's quite groundbreaking in terms of the technology. Okay, so well, let's walk through this a little bit. So I gather uh, it's based on the smartphones, yeah? Yep, yep. So, uh, iPhone and Android, yeah, one or the other? Both of them, um, and it uses the latest technology from Apple and Google, the AR kit and AR core. Um, so it takes it really to the next level in terms of technology. So when I talk about, say, Pokemon Go and you're walking around town and you use your camera and you see a Pokemon, that's kind of okay with AR. What we do is take it to the next level where when you go into combat, it actually opens up a door that you walk into and you're suddenly in a virtual world. It's like, it's like walking into a video game. You know, you are now, it's like you're now in Fortnite. You're walking around this, this, this 360 degree virtual environment with your mobile and the, your, your avatar is reacting to the position that your mobile phone's in. So if you kneel down, your avatar kneels down. If you jump, you jump. If you run, you run. So it, it, it's, it's, it's amazingly engaging when you play it. Now, what I gather, though, is it, it, it goes beyond just the smartphone and what's immediately in front of you. It actually gets the whole city involved, yeah? Yeah, so um, we have a mapping technology where it detects where you are, and you will have a, around about two and a half kilometer mapping area which you can look down so when you look into the map it will see that you're here in this case in this hotel in san francisco and then it will select a couple of places for you to go to and defend like so, uh, like a park and it will also select where the bad guys are and where the good guys are so you decide where to walk to in the town to either go into combat or to start mining for resources which give you upgrades to weapons and to health and all, all other fun stuff now i keep hearing about defending your territory defend 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 how, how do you go about defending yourself uh well that's so if are, there, are there nunchucks involved no, there, you have to it, take a martial arts yeah. class <laughs> that's part two um no so so you um there's a whole selection of weapons and they're pretty crazy in fact there is a bow and arrow actually in the weapon selection but it starts off from pistols and goes all the way down to flamethrowers and some really crazy stuff and you either um get those weapons by winning in combat or you buy them from the app store with our uh, in-game currency so there's, there's a there's a number of different different ways of doing it and in terms of defending well someone will challenge you and therefore you're defending the challenge as opposed to just defending an area so let's say someone challenges you now is it a computer that challenges you or is it a, a, a real person that challenges no, you? so it's both so um, ideally it's a real person if there if, if there's more if there's people playing it within that two and a half kilometers then it will be a real person that shows if no one's playing in your area we have bots so there's always someone to someone to fight and when you're combating is it like you're having cell phones face off against each other or Basically, yeah yeah, except you, you might never see the person you're challenging because that person could be two kilometers away, but the servers will still react to what that person's doing. Now, I have seen it where we could be in the same room and challenge each other and we can literally walk past each other and the avatars in the game almost wave as they go past. So, so you, you can see the real person, but in many times you might just go into combat and you don't know where he is in that, in that area. Now, what I'm hearing is like approximately two kilometers or 2.2 kilometers uh, yeah. area within the city. Uh, and I'm hearing about defending territory and combating fellow players and computer players. Yeah. Uh, what's the object of the game? What would be deemed a win in the game? Uh, so at, at this point, it's about uh, collecting resources to upgrade. Right? So this is um, what we call an MVP. It's a minimal viable product. We're testing the servers. In stage two, it's multiplayer. So it, it will be a bit like paintball where you have to go and get a flag and bring it back without 
um, being shot or without being killed. Uh, there's, ma there's many different parts to it that is a roadmap for the next two years. So at the moment, uh, it's simply um, uh, we put you into a team, you go and defend a certain area, you mine for resources and you upgrade your weapons. So you're, you're, you're learning how to play it and then every month a new, a new uh, bit of gameplay comes out. Now, I, I'm admittedly a bit of a couch, couch potato myself, so two kilometers sounds like quite a distance. Ah. Is there a lot of walking, yeah, jogging, well, running, well, driving? Well, actually, um, w we've got a second part to the game, which is um, called uh, quick fire. Now, if you don't want to start walking around, um, you can... By the way, people should be encouraged to yeah, walk, I, run, I, jog, yeah, and so on, but <laughs> I, I'm but, being facetious. Yeah. But, but if you don't, you can um, just purely go straight into combat and actually... It could be the other side of the world. What the servers will do is detect anyone that's online which just wants to have a fight. But if you win, you don't win any uh, uh, rewards that go back to the gameplay. It's just, I just want to go into a combat with someone. And, and it, you could literally, from, from San Francisco, you could be playing someone in London and you wouldn't know that. But, you, but, it, but the, 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 the avatar will start doing the same thing as the person is doing, you know, 3,000 miles away. Is this a team-based sport as well? Yeah, it's, it's always been um, planned as a, a team, you select the clan and you go out there. In this particular version, this, um, this beta version that's just launched, we put you into a team. The next version is you select, you, 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 all your mates come together basically. And is there an age group you're aiming for with uh, this? Well, it's, it's 17 plus on the app stores, um, simply because the weapons that we use are pretty realistic. Um, but actually, the platform that we've built, we can we can turn the weapons into custard pie guns, right? So it really, it, it doesn't matter. You know, we've got lots of new ideas around this AR virtual reality combat that we're building. Now, it, this goes beyond the game itself too, right? I mean, I, I, are there opportunities for vendors in the area to, to benefit from yeah, the game? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, hence the safe zones. So we could we can do a deal with a, with a coffee store or like Starbucks, for instance. You go to Starbucks, you, we drive users in there. If you stay in Starbucks for 10 minutes, we give you something for free. Starbucks hope that you're going to buy a coffee. They pay me in return for driving users into their store. So we're, we're, we're talking to that already. In, in the UK, in London, where I'm from, actually, we're talking to pub chains, um, not Starbucks, because it's, uh, it's actually a 17 plus game on the App Store. So. Good stuff. So, uh, is it the game readily available yet? Can people yeah, get their hands on it? So, it, it's out um, in six countries today. So, where are we? March. So, it's in Spain, Italy, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, um, and launches in the UK 18th of April in the US in the summer. Okay, good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Thank you. Great. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at GDC 2019. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching.